Hi YouTube, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond coming at you with morning chit chat. And of course, yes, I'm never ready. <laughs> Glossing up the lips. Anyway, good morning you guys. Hope everybody's having a wonderfully blessed morning so far. My morning started out fine this morning. I have not had to fuss at anybody. I'm sure there was, was a reason I could have fussed, but I just didn't this morning. I am going to start my morning out better than I started it out yesterday. Okay? So, hope everybody's having a blessed morning. So far, I'm having a blessed morning. Had my personal training session with Sean T. I know y'all are jealous and hating on that. <laughs> Anyway, still doing cardio recovery. It's the same um, workout, which is cardio. It's cardio recovery and abs or something like that. Anyway, doing a lot of abdominal core work. Balance is what you're doing. Core training and balance, I think is what it's called. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's recovery week. And I'm kind of getting sad to miss it. I mean, yeah, I'll still be sweating like a... Here I go again, a fat pig. How many of y'all seen a pig sweat? <laughs> But anyway, sweating, 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 sweat is pouring off of me in this video. I'm not exhausted, but I got to be burning something, all that sweat that be coming off. And um, I will tell y'all this. Sorry, y'all trying to get by this car. It's a tight little squeeze. But anyway, um, cardio recovery is what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Cardio recovery. I'm really kind of little anxious and nervous about this maximal insanity whatever it's called it's got a lot of it's maximal intervals maximal it's everything's maximal all i see is max 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 roll all across the dvds so i'm a little nervous because you know my knees have been bothering me and then here i go just got through the regular four weeks and now i got to do max but i'm excited because I made it this far. I held on. I didn't let this tough workout stop me or detour me. I didn't let these burning knees detour me or stop me. I kept pushing because I'm trying to meet a goal. Now, if I can just get this diet thing, oh my goodness. <sighs> I think with diet, what's going to happen is I just got a plan. I got to do my meals a week in advance. Just set it in my mind Sunday afternoon you're gonna cook your meals up for the week and you know I was thinking well you know you might not want to eat the same thing all week long I think that's what will bore me out but with me when I get something that I like I will gorge myself on it but you know I could do different things I could do I, I could I, I don't know I'm gonna look I'm gonna find some good healthy meals and I'm going to make it work for me. I'm going to start, hopefully, next week doing meal plannings with my meals, okay? Um, trying to make this thing work so I can see the pounds losing. And um, I believe, um, sorry guys, my nose is burning. That's why I'm wiggling it. And that's my daily sneeze. <laughs> and, um gonna try to get start working on some healthy meals working on that um to see if i can get because if i'm working out and i'm working out hard it's not gonna help if you're not eating healthy meals and of course yesterday what did i wind up eating one of those hormel complete meals that i got couponing not complaining about it because it was free but it's not the healthiest choice and it's packed full of sodium which means <laughs> fluid water retention with all that sodium <laughs> not to mention hypertension in a prepackaged box <laughs> so but had to do what I had to do I could have ran out but I really couldn't have run out yesterday because got kind of busy so I didn't get a chance to run out and if I had to run out I probably would have done some coupon and knowing me so I just didn't go out I just work with what I had Anywho, okay, let's get back to what we were talking about. Diet, diet, diet is the key. And getting my water in, oh my God, you guys, 
I am terrible with getting my water in. And one time I was on it. I was getting that water in. I was getting two of the big, um, let me show y'all. I was getting two of these big bottles in before I left work. Now I can't even get one. I'm still got like two and 300 cc's left in that one water bottle trying to sip it and get it out. And I'm not really drinking anything else. I don't know why I don't have a thirst. I, I really don't. That is just strange, you know, and not even soda juice. None of that. It's just like it's forever for me to get this water down. And I do drink cups, one cup, one of the cups. I don't have my coffee cup with me, but one of the tumblers, like the Traveler tumblers. I drink one of those full of coffee in the mornings. And, of course, when I do my workout, I'm sucking down a bottle of water. <laughs> but anyway, um... I got to get better with getting my water intake in, and I don't know what I'm going to do. It's just like I don't have a thirst. So I don't know if that's happened to any of you guys out there or not who's had weight loss surgery. Do you feel like you're not thirsty and you just don't drink all day? It's almost like at the beginning of my weight loss journey. And it's not that I feel tight or full because, you know, when I first heard, had weight loss surgery, it was to the point of where I just wasn't hungry and I would forget to eat. I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't drink, and then all of a sudden it'd be at the end of the day, and I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. gee, I haven't eaten anything I need to eat. So I'd have to stop and eat, because that's how you would be. You just wouldn't have the sense of feeling hungry. You would just be like, hmm, wouldn't that be nice to be like that all the time? But be healthy when you're not doing it. <sighs> but anyway, I don't know. So I got to try to eat better, and... um. Anyway, I'm looking at these cars, they are doing some crazy stuff. They're turning around in the middle of the street. Cars are honking their horns. I'm like, what in the world? Anyway, I am jammed up in traffic, so I'm going to be late. What is with this traffic? I would be so glad when school lets out because I get caught up in the school traffic. And, oh, gosh. I could leave a few minutes earlier. I know. Those of y'all who are thinking it, I know. But I just can't get out of the house on time. <sighs> anyway, talk seven minutes and 24 seconds about nothing. Nothing but nothing. <laughs> anyway, I really haven't had much to talk about. I showed y'all my little video yesterday that I did coupon. I want to go out and do that Visine deal, but I got, to cut, I got to clip my coupons. And every time I think about clipping them, I'm like, do I need another Visine? But it's a moneymaker, Michelle frugal living go look at her video she posted one last night the best deal to get i think on visine.com they have some three dollar off coupons so i've got to try to get up there so i can clip them and get them before they've all gone by now they're probably all gone you know but she said buy four of the cheaper the maximums i think there's seven something but with gold you should you get them for 5.99 i'm not gold i'm still silver i don't think i've reached gold yet it would be so nice if i go in and my card is gold today because i have bought some things and i bought it all in the car that was close to gold so i would love to go in and my card is finally gold but i won't know till i actually go try to do it but if you buy four of the maximums which is in the red box the visines and one of the more higher expensive ones um it'll be six and some change and the max will be four no five ninety nine i don't know y'all it would be five i don't know buy four of those maximums the ones in the red box i do know that and then she had one of the purple ones and it came out to th a little over 30 and some change you had um I want to say like $25 worth of coupons because you had the $2 in ad coupons and then you had the $3 coupons. So that's 3 times 4 is 12. And um, 2 times 5 is 10. Yeah. So you have $22 worth of coupons and you only wind up paying like $5, I think. Did I add that up right? 5 times 3 is 15. No, I'm sorry. Mm. Oops. <laughs> 5 times 3 is 15. And. Two times five is ten, so that's twenty-five dollars. So you wind up paying five dollars and some change, like a dollar a box for these five boxes, and then you get back ten dollars. That's a five dollar money maker. That's enough to make me get out. If I can get the coupons, if I can't get the coupons, then I ain't gonna mess with it. I'll say, oh well, another one bites the dust, but another one will come along soon. Anyway, you guys, that's enough talking for now. I want you guys to have a wonderfully blessed day. 
remember to give God some praise. Thank Him for waking you up. This is a beautiful day, you guys. We have been having beautiful, wonderful weather. And guess what? I'm stuck inside at work. So I'm praying that this beautiful weather hold up through the weekend so I can enjoy it, get out, and do something this weekend. Besides couponing, I want to do something. Anyway, I mean, there's a Tyler Perry movie that's out that I have not even been to see. I keep putting it off. It'll be gone by the time I actually go and see it. But anyway, maybe I'll do that this weekend. Who knows? But anyway, you guys have a blessed day. See you in the next video. Bye.